A triphasic mitral flow pattern has an additional mid-diastolic wave called T-wave or L-wave. Normal LV filling pattern is biphasic with an early diastolic E wave which occurs soon after the opening of the mitral wall and a late diastolic A wave during atrial systole. Normally E wave is taller than A wave but A wave can be taller in situations of left ventricular diastolic dysfunction that is EA reversal. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. A triphasic LV filling pattern has an additional mid-diastolic wave which is called T-wave by some others and L-wave by others. It can occur in situations of LV diastolic dysfunction especially in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. A corresponding L-prime wave or T-prime wave in tissue Doppler has also been described. Third wave has also been documented in pulmonary venous Doppler in which the T wave is between the early diastolic D wave and AR of atrial reversal. AR wave is negative while D and T waves of pulmonary venous Doppler are positive waves. Triphasic pattern of mitral inflow and mitral annular tissue Doppler has been reported in a hypertensive emergency. L wave has also been reported in M mode echocardiogram along with a mitral inflow L wave. L wave indicates mid-diastolic flow from pulmonary veins into the left atrium and further into the left ventricle. In those with LV diastolic dysfunction, an L wave indicates high risk of hospitalization for heart failure as it connotes high LV filling pressures. It is associated with clinical heart failure in cases of LV systolic dysfunction. Triphasic LV filling pattern is a mixed pattern of restrictive filling and impaired relaxation. The third longitudinal movement of the mitral annulus on tissue Doppler is thought to be due to extra myocardial relaxation with a suction force. This suction force due to delayed relaxation causes the mid-diastolic flow which is manifest as the T wave or the L wave. There is also a view that the third mid-diastolic wave indicates advanced left ventricular diastolic dysfunction as is often present in hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. This was suggested by an association of L prime with higher E by E prime ratio, larger left atrium and higher anti-pro BNP levels. Here are some important journal references. Here are the remaining references. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.